looking forward to the tweets. We know that the biggest TV star of the last year is Donald Trump. And however you feel about the president, and you do feel about the president, you can't deny that every show was influenced by Donald Trump in some way. And we all know the Emmys mean a lot to Donald Trump. That Seth Meyers is hosting the Emmy Awards. Even during the campaign, Trump would not let it go. What really matters to Donald Trump is ratings. This will be the largest audience to witness an Emmys. At long last, Mr. President, here is your Emmy. All you men up there, you put that orange wig on as birth control, trust me. Why didn't you give him an Emmy? I thought you people loved morally compromised anti-heroes. He's just Walter much wider. Spoiler alert, the 47th President of the United States. She'd be great. She doesn't tweet. We did have a whole storyline about an impeachment, but we abandoned that because we were worried that someone else might get to it first. I want to thank Trump for making black people number one on the most oppressed list. In other words, the president's worst nightmare. Because unlike the presidency, Emmys go to the winner of the popular vote. And in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist. Oh, that thing you say about Trump being bad. Oh. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Every day since November 8th. I want to say thank you to Hillary Clinton for your grace and grit. His role in Wizard of Lies, which I believe was the Sean Spicer story. Things are kind of crazy out there right now. The way the world is right now, it's easy to think their jobs are easier. Uh, I, I've heard 2017 described uh, as being trapped. A way for us to escape the madness of world events. In these crazy times, there would never be another season as crazy go home get to work we have a lot of things to fight for good night this broadcast is being watched live by millions of americans and around the world in more than 225 countries that now hate us from the get-go politics and hollywood colliding at the oscars i want to say thank you to president trump i mean remember last year when it seemed like the oscars were racist <laughs> President Trump, the target of several jokes from host Jimmy Kimmel. Some of you will get to come up here on this stage tonight and give a speech that the President of the United States will tweet about in, in all caps during his 5 a.m. bowel movement tomorrow. Politics front and center before the show began on the red carpet. Nominees Ruth Nega and Lin-Manuel Miranda wearing blue ribbons in support of the ACLU. Director Ava DuVernay showing solidarity, she says, by choosing to wear a gown by a designer from Lebanon. President Trump's policies also a target for presenters. As a Mexican, as a Latin American, as a migrant worker, as a human being, I'm against any form of wall that wants to separate us. And for winners. This is for, I'm an immigrant. I come from Italy. I work around the world. And this is for the, all the immigrants. For the immigrants. Please. Including the Iranian winner for best foreign film. The salesman, Ashtar Fahadi. Boycotting the Oscars to show support for the people of seven majority Muslim countries affected by Trump's travel ban. Instead, having someone read a statement on his behalf. Dividing the world into the us and our enemies categories creates fear. And of all the great actors here in Hollywood, one in particular has stood the test of time for her many uninspiring and overrated performances. <laughs> Would everybody please join me in giving Meryl Streep a totally undeserved round of applause, will you? Kimmel even tweeting at the president, first asking, hey, Donald Trump, you up? Then, hashtag Meryl says hi. Both retweeted more than half a million times and counting, the first becoming Kimmel's most retweeted ever just after 15 minutes. Trump hasn't tweeted back, but his supporters have. Former campaign spokesperson Katrina Pearson tweeting, Donald Trump is busy meeting with governors of the nation. You know, people that actually get things done, not just pretend to in costume. Some even choosing to boycott watching the awards show. Mike Huckabee tweeting, Watch celebs spew ignorant political venom at Oscars? Nah, think I'd rather have a colonoscopy. Both happen from same location. Oh, I'm sorry. I, um, you know, we're more than two hours into the show and Donald Trump hasn't tweeted at us once. <laughs> and I'm starting to get worried about him. <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you put it up, up my phone up on the screen? <laughs> Hold on. We got, hey. I'm 
sorry, I'm not that good with this stuff. All bets are off now. It's on. You know, it's you know we 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 didn't do the work to to make sure that that uh, the person that we wanted in there to be in that we didn't do the work. We thought it was uh, it didn't really matter. It matters. It matters. Now you see the results of it. Now learn the lesson and get in it. Get a clipboard. Get organized. Stop sitting on the sidelines, acting like you're so free you don't have to vote. We gave the world the most inclusive, loving, considerate, intelligent, articulate. Beautiful, inclusive again, sometimes even accused to a fault president we could have given him. And our enemies spat in the man's face, blew up our marathon, shot up our schools, and they created the, the leader that they have now. I'm a born and raised in Boston liberal. Massachusetts died in the wool liberal. I can't stand that son of a bitch. So for me, anything that I can do to parry or skewer him, I'm all about it. I mean, we're a week into this presidency. How do you think it's going? It is, um, it is very, very disturbing what is going on and heartening to see the response of Americans who are reaching out in love for one another and in goodness and um, saying that this is not the way we want to be. Fellow SAG-AFTRA members and everyone at home and everyone in airports that belong in my America. You are a part of the fabric of who we are, and we love you, and we welcome you. Um, I, I want you all to know that I am the daughter of an immigrant. Um, my father fled religious persecution in Nazi-occupied France, and I'm an American patriot, and I love this country, and because I love this country, I am horrified by its blemishes, and this immigrant ban is a blemish and it is un-American. Our sister guild, the WGA, made a statement today that I would like to read because I'm in complete agreement with it. Our guilds are unions of storytellers who have always welcomed those from the nations and of varying beliefs who wish to share their creativity with America. We are grateful for them. We stand with them and we will fight for them. Thank you very much. I think that right now is uh, an unprecedented time. So I don't know if I would say forever yes, but I think if we're human beings and we see uh, injustice, we have to speak up because staying silent, like as they say, only really helps the oppressor. Yes, right now, I would hope that everyone that's seeing things being done that are absolutely uh, unconstitutional and inhumane um, would say something in any venue, whether it's, you know, at school or at an award show or in their offices or um, online. I, I would hope that people would fight for what's right and what's just fucking human. Sorry I said the F word. I sort of whispered it. <laughs> what's fucking human? Okay, I said it out loud. So, yeah, I, I don't know, um, but this is a time unlike any other. So I, I, it's, it's amazing to see people speaking up and taking action, more than anything else, taking action. He said he's uh, often asked how Donald LBJ Trump. would feel about President and Trump. I honestly feel that 36 would put his arm around 45 and earnestly wish him success. And he would also whisper in his ear something he said often, just don't in the soup that all of us got to eat. I would like to go against the stream this evening and thank President Trump for making Frank Gallagher seem so normal. We 1983 Midwesters will repel bullies. We will shelter freaks and outcasts, those who have no homes. We will get past the lies. If it isn't Hillary in November, does your act change? Does your outlook change? My act will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain or somewhere. Will Donald Trump be our next president? 
<laughs> if that mother becomes president, I move my black ass to South Africa. But I mean the coming to your country if you'll let me in or Canada. Uh, I already told you what I'm doing if you become president. I'm moving to Canada. Me and Drake gonna be neighbors if Donald Trump becomes president. Listen, if he wins, he won't have to worry about immigration. We'll all go back. Jeez, I might leave. Is that right? Yeah, I might. Where would you go? Canada. I've. I know everyone's always idly threatening this, but I'm 100% moving to Canada. I love Canada. And there's an area in Vancouver that I find beautiful and appealing, and I can conduct business from there. I'd be an expatriate. <laughs> uh, I, would, I would definitely move. Trump rent win, I'm moving to Africa. If any Republican gets nominated, I'm going to move to Canada with my entire family. No, I, I literally bought my ticket, I You're swear. You're not a citizen, you know, of Canada. It's okay, I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll okay. figure that out. I, I did buy a house in another country just in case. So all these people <laughs> that threaten that threaten to leave the country and you then don't, I will leave that country. Well, I would consider getting in a rocket <laughs> and then going to another planet. Maybe it's time for me to move. And what's you know? wrong with being PC? No, 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 but you because, know, I can, listen, I can afford to go. I'm open to support anyone while I'm also reserving my uh, ticket to get out of here if he wins. It's, it's beyond my comprehension if, um, if Trump won. It, it's just, it's too crazy. Live it all up because this is the best of President Trump. We don't know what comes next. We can survive by sticking together the passion, fashion, voice in the soul. Host James Chance Corden right, pokes fun at himself cool. and at President okay, Trump. Gonna... Right, what I'll say is any negative tweets that you see are fake tweets. What up, boss? I'm not feeling the p political clown right now. I just want to thank nah. President Agent Orange up, for perpetuating all of the evil that you've been perpetuating nah. throughout the United States. Whoa. I want to thank President Agent Orange. Yeah. Yeah. A successful attempt at the